the start then of a new project. Regular viewers of the channel will know that I have a penchant for the strange and the unusual, this being no exception. Previously I've had a pterodactyl and uh, the strange flying toilet seat, the geobat, and today this is loosely uh, what's known as a smart fish or high fish. It's based on a uh, proposed real design. There'll be links down in the description for those who are of a curious mind. When I downloaded the plan, it was a little bit larger than this, but when I was looking at it, I thought the little fuselage would make an excellent body for this design. And that's how I came up with this little bit fishy. The power plant is this 40 mil EDF unit, and that's gonna be powered by a 3S pack, not quite sure of the capacity. Another oddity of the design is that the center of gravity is rather far forward, therefore servos and things will have to be towards the front. The only control surfaces are at the rear there. These parts will be cut along here, and then they'll be pivoting in a tailor-on arrangement, uh, something that I have never done before. That will no doubt be interesting. My other idea then will be to cut the little fuselage in half, obviously sticking part on the top and part underneath to complete the fishy experience. Let's see how we get on. Much progress has been made then, as you can see. I have 3D printed a holder for the EDF in there. I've attempted a rather fish scaly type pattern, which I've sprayed onto there. I've got myself, of course, a little five channel ELRS receiver with battery voltage telemetry, a couple of these little 3.7 gram servos. Power pack, I think, will be this 1500 sitting up the front there to balance things out. I've gone for a more conventional arrangement on the elevons or tailorons or however they're called. The idea that I had of pivoting it there was too complicated. This will be a much simpler setup, those being the only control surfaces. As I said before, the center of gravity is quite far forward on this point here. That should be about right with that battery. These servos then will go in the side there. I'm going to try something different with the control surfaces, just using this plastic strimmer wire and some little sections of tube. We'll see if that will work to act actuate the tailorons. Work in progress. Underneath here then, put a little air scoop in there and I have a, an 18 amp speed controller sitting under there. I did a full power test with the 3S pack and this was pulling just around 15 amps. So that should be good enough. I'll crack on now and put in the controls and we'll see where we go from there. I've made a few changes and before I hide everything up in here, I thought I'd explain the layout to you. Having these little control surfaces at the back, I just have a feeling that um, it's going to be a bit sensitive. Therefore, I've dug out my BIME DB gyro, which is a delta only gyro, and that will control the elevons. I wanted to retain my receiver so that with this pigtail here, I can pick up the battery voltage telemetry. This is one of the wonderful things that I love about ELRS. It's natively a PWM receiver, but by going into the firmware, you can change the output to transmit and receive, in this case, SBUS. If you want crossfire, CRSF, not a problem. If you want inverted SBUS, not a problem. It's just wonderful. Simply don't understand why people stick with proprietary systems that lock you in and are inflexible. Anyway, rant over. These are the two servos I'm going to be using. I've set up my transmitter because I'm using the BIME D, which is a Delta mix on its own. The setup on the transmitter is just standard aileron and elevator on the normal channels. The BIME will do the magic on its own. Connecting things up then. Now that beeping is because 
I have not armed the system. I have my arming switch. Throttle active. And how we have our throttle. And we also have our ele Elevon function there. We can see then that the gyro is working. At the moment it's in the stabilized mode so whatever attitude the plane is at it will fix the control surface to correct the movement as long as necessary. I can change that. Normal gyro. In the normal gyro mode it only corrects for wind mitigation if you will or any uncommanded inputs and of course gyro off. we can switch it off in entirely. That's the general setup then. Oh, battery voltage. 11.2 volts. Ah, marvellous stuff. I love it. I'll go ahead now then and fit everything away up in there and then we'll check that the control surfaces move in the correct directions. Here we are then, ready for the off. Trying something different today. The control rods, as it were, are actually just strimmer cord which I've passed through some PTFE tubing. Seems to be doing the job well. I know the amount of throw is ridiculous but that's on full rates. We can tame that right down. Checking out the gyro functions then stable mode. in the stabilized mode I've just put the nose down and the elevons have gone up tailorons or whatever they're called and that's correct then and conversely if I pitch the nose up you should be able to see looking at the foam there that uh, they're moving down so that appears to be correct if the wind pushes it to the left the right tailoron compensates and vice versa all appears to be well as you may remember from the beginning, I'm using this 1500 3S, which should give us plenty of oomph. That would appear to be adequate. 12.4 volts. And of course I have my battery telemetry. We are good to go then. We'll see how the BIME DB performs, and indeed the craft itself. Are we going to be pretty in pink? There's only one way to find out. Well, gentlemen, oh. I, pre wow. I present you something a little bit fishy. A little? <laughs> That's very good. Can that remains to be seen, Martin, I admire your optimism. Did you want to launch? Well, if you're up to it, <laughs> Graham, will we, be, will we be in the pink or feeling the blues? Do you want to go over there where it stands a bit more chance? Yes, over the, over the absorbing grass. <laughs> okay. Perhaps not enough power. Did you see where it went down? Yes, more or less. Well, it flew, kind of. It wouldn't climb, but it was on medium rates, and it did seem more stable than I thought it was going to be. And therefore, we'll put it back onto high rates and try again, provided it's in one piece. I was hoping it would be around here somewhere. Now there she is. I guess that's another advantage of having a pink model. Now, what's happened here? Looks like our battery has come out. Let's disconnect that for a moment. Telemetry lost. We have a bit of a ding in the wing. Nothing a bit of hot melt glue won't fix. What alterations have you made? I've put some reflex or up tailor on 
whatever they are. Yeah. We'll yeah. see if, yeah. if it makes any difference. Yeah, just on the corner. A little bit of hot yeah. glue. Yeah. Jobs are good and yep. well done. Let's see if we can get a circuit. <laughs> yeah. Don't go too far out. <sighs> Ready? Yep. Climb you! <laughs> there we are again. Then looks like a similar scenario. The battery has popped out. Let's disconnect that. Put our battery. A little bit more bashed in the nose, but nothing serious. One more for grins. One more for the road. Yes. Well, what have we done now? What we have done now uh, has gone into total insanity mode. <laughs> I've got a gyro in there, which I've had on fully stabilised. Right. So I've switched it to just wind mitigation if you will yes. everybody happy Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no. nah. so is it a question of more power as martin says or do you have any other ideas let me know in the comments what do you think, Greg? It's not too well, big. it's my question to you, gentlemen. What do you think? Go bigger. Go bigger. Go bigger. Bigger, bigger, go, wing. bigger, bigger wing area, not we bigger go fan. For. Right. A bigger fan. It, it seems to me that you've got the power when you throw it because of the yeah. speed of the throw. Yeah. But as soon as it starts to slow down, it's not got enough power. Right, it's not picking on. up speed on its own. So it needs more power. Well, there we are. Game over for today, but um, lots of food for thought, some input there from the guys at the field, and I'd appreciate your input too down there in the comments. Many thanks for watching.